Hey there, fellow time travelers. Remember those days when TV was an event and cozying up on the couch was a thrilling escape from reality? Well, I've got a question for you. Did you ever catch the enchanting 1985 TV series, Moonlighting? Ah, those were the days, weren't they? Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Picture yourself lounging in your favorite armchair, the soft glow of the television casting a warm ambience in the room. Bruce Willis and Cybill Shepard gracing the screen as the dynamic detective duo David Addison and Maddie Hayes. The show had it all, wit, charm, and a dash of romance that kept us coming back for more. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What were your favorite moments from Moonlighting? Did you root for David and Matt as well they want their romance? Or were you more intrigued by the quirky cases they tackled? Share your cherished memories and let's reminisce about the magic of moonlighting together. But before we dive too deep into nostalgia, how about I sprinkle in some random facts about the show that might surprise you? Stay tuned for a dose of trivia that will make you see moonlighting in a whole new light. So, grab your popcorn and let's embark on this delightful journey down memory lane. Who would thought that a detective agency could be so much fun? Let's get started, and remember, it's all about reliving those timeless moments. In the 1985 TV series Moonlighting, comedian Doug Benson made several appearances. As a regular extra, he portrayed an office worker at the Blue Moon Detective Agency in multiple episodes throughout the show's run. Moreover, the production of Moonlighting was marked by unique challenges. Episodes took 12 to 14 days to shoot, much longer than the usual seven days for an hour-long series. Dialogue was often written just hours before filming, and some scenes were even shot days before airing. Due to these delays, the series fell short of the typical 26 episodes per season, with only 66 episodes produced from 1985 to 1989. The show's behind-the-scenes tension is also notable. It earned the reputation of a miserable TV set. Starring Cybill Shepard and Bruce Willis, the 80 Seconds comedy drama was fraught with conflicts from its inception until the end of its fifth and final season. Issues included Willis' growing film career, catalyzed by Die Hard in 1988, and Shepard's 1987 pregnancy, which disrupted the production schedule. Reportedly, Willis became more concerned about leaving work early. He even had a loud and violent tantrum on set when the production schedule threatened to disrupt his afternoon getaway. In summary, Moonlighting was a TV series with an interesting mix of comedy and drama marked by its lengthy production process and the challenges faced by its cast and crew. These factors contributed to its unique place in television history. Moonlighting, the making of a detective classic in 1985. The TV series Moonlighting burst onto the small screen, captivating audiences with its unique blend of comedy, romance, and detective drama. Behind the scenes, several intriguing stories add depth to the show's history. One notable aspect of Moonlighting is its homage to the films of Alfred Hitchcock. The series cleverly weaved in references to Hitchcock's iconic works, paying tribute to the master of suspense. Bernard Herrmann's unforgettable theme from Vertigo set the tone for many episodes, creating a Hitchcockian atmosphere. Eva Marie Saint, who portrayed Maddie Hayes' mother on the show, famously starred in Hitchcock's North by Northwest, adding a touch of cinematic history to the series. The casting of the show also has an interesting backstory. Originally, ABC and Cybill Shepard had their sights set on Harley Venton to play David Addison Jr. However, creator and writer Glenn Gordon Karen had a different vision. He rejected Venton in favor of then-unknown actor Bruce Willis. Screen tests were conducted, featuring Mary Margaret Humes as Maddie Hayes, and these tests are included at the end of the pilot episode DVD, offering fans a glimpse into the casting process. Moreover, Moonlighting almost didn't come to be. Before the series was greenlit, there were three failed pilot attempts. ABC eventually urged Glenn Gordon Karen to create a detective series, which he hesitated to do initially, having previously worked on Remington Steel. Interestingly, ABC originally envisioned Cheryl Ladd in the lead role, based on her success in Charlie's Angels. However, Karen ultimately chose a different direction for the show. Moonlighting defied expectations and became a beloved classic blending genres and featuring memorable characters. Its nods to Hitchcock and the casting decisions that shaped the series provide a fascinating glimpse into its behind-the-scenes history. 
So, next time you watch Moonlighting, keep in mind the subtle Hitchcockian references and the casting choices that brought David and Maddie to life on screen. It's a testament to the creativity and bold decision-making that made this 1985 TV series a true gem in television history. In the 1985 TV series Moonlighting, Bruce Willis played the role of David Addison. In the show's second episode, David mentioned a character named McGillicuddy. However, McGillicuddy didn't make his first appearance until the third season. This recurring character added an interesting dynamic to the series, but it took a while for him to join the cast. Interestingly, while starring in Moonlighting, Bruce Willis also found time to film Die Hard. By the time the series ended, Die Hard was available on VHS. In one of the last episodes, Willis and a love interest walked past a video rental store where an employee was tearing down a Die Hard poster from the window. It's a reminder of how Willis juggled two significant roles during that time. At the beginning of 1985, ABC was casting two big new series to add to their fall schedule, Moonlighting and Growing Pains. Bruce Willis was up for the male lead in both series. However, Alan Fick secured the role of Seaver on Growing Pains, leaving Willis to make history with Moonlighting. Moonlighting was a memorable series in the mid-1980s, with interesting behind-the-scenes stories and a talented cast, including Bruce Willis in one of his breakout roles. It's fascinating to see how his career was taking off both on TV and in film during that time. Moonlighting, a unique 1980s TV gem Moonlighting, a popular 1980s TV series, often finds itself in discussions alongside Remington Steel. Both shows shared creators, belong to the same genre, and aired in the 80 seconds. However, Moonlighting stands out as one of the best shows of the era, while Remington Steel is primarily remembered as the introduction of Pierce Brosnan to the small screen. A notable aspect of Moonlighting was its approach to cinematography. Cybill Shepard, one of the lead actors, was frequently shot using diffusion discs to recreate the glamorous look of leading ladies from 1940s films. This choice added a unique touch to the show's visual style, setting it apart from other contemporary series. One of the show's memorable story arcs involved a love triangle featuring Mark Harmon. This arc, which unfolded in the penultimate season, drew criticism from feminist historian Susan Faludi. In her book Backlash, Faludi dedicated a whole chapter to this story arc, arguing that it glamorized rape by depicting a scene where David overpowers Maddie, culminating in a passionate embrace. Faludi saw this as sending the wrong message about how to handle such situations. In the end, Moonlighting remains a fascinating part of 80 Seconds television history, known for its unique blend of genres, innovative visual style, and, in some cases, controversial storylines. Whether you compare it to Remington Steel or delve into its cinematographic choices, Moonlighting continues to be remembered as a show that left its mark on the era. In 1985, the TV series Moonlighting became a household name, known for its witty banter and chemistry between its stars, Bruce Willis and Cybill Shepard. But the show faced its fair share of challenges during its run. One notable setback occurred in the production of its fifth season. Due to a prolonged writer's strike, filming for season five did not commence until October 4, 1988. This unexpected delay left fans waiting for new episodes for quite some time. However, it wasn't the only hiccup in the show's history. During the third season, Moonlighting gained notoriety for numerous delays and a slew of filler episodes that strayed from the primary story arc. These episodes included a Christmas story, a retrospective show, a Shakespeare spoof, and even one focused solely on the character Miss Di Pesto. These scheduling problems were a result of Bruce Willis injuring his shoulder while skiing, and Cybill Shepard being pregnant with twins at the time. In fact, one episode even began with a mock newsreel, acknowledging the behind-the-scenes problems the show faced. Interestingly, Moonlighting had an unexpected influence on the world of sports. Chicago Cubs shortstop Addison Russell was named after the character of David Addison Jr. in the series. It turns out that Addison Russell's mother was a big fan of the show, which led to the unique namesake for the award-winning baseball player. 
Moonlighting may have faced its fair share of challenges, but it remains a memorable part of television history with its behind-the-scenes stories and unexpected impacts. Whether you remember it for its charm or its delays, the show left a lasting impression. The dark toll of stardom, mental health battles, and suicide in the lives of Moonlighting's cast members in the glitzy world of Hollywood. The hit 1985 TV series Moonlighting Sean Bradley but behind the scenes, it concealed a somber tale of mental health struggles that affected some of its cast members. Amidst the fame and fortune, a few stars of Moonlighting battled demons that eventually led them down a tragic path. Hollywood's unrelenting pressure took its toll on these actors, pushing them to the brink of despair. One such example is the tragic story of who played a pivotal role in the series. Despite the acclaim and popularity Moonlighting brought him, grappled with mental health issues that went unnoticed by many. The relentless demands of stardom and the weight of expectations proved overwhelming. In the end, succumbed to the darkness within and took his own life, leaving a void in the hearts of fans. The cast and crew of Moonlighting were not immune to the harsh realities of Hollywood. The allure of the limelight sometimes came with a hefty price tag one that some cast members found too heavy to bear. Mental health struggles and the specter of suicide cast a long shadow over the legacy of this beloved TV show. In retrospect, Moonlighting serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges that lurk behind the glittering facade of fame. It underscores the need for greater awareness of mental health issues in the entertainment industry and the importance of providing support to those who need it most. The tragic stories of Moonlighting's cast members stand as a stark testament to the dark toll of stardom. Their struggles serve as a call to action, urging Hollywood to prioritize the well-being of its stars and to address the mental health issues that continue to haunt the industry. In the end, Moonlighting was more than just a TV show. It was a reflection of the complex and often painful lives of its cast members. Their stories remind us that behind the glitz and glamour, there are real people facing real battles. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the captivating world of the 1985 TV series, Moonlighting, I invite you to take a moment to reflect. This series, with its charismatic leads and witty banter, left an indelible mark on television history. It wasn't just a show, it was a rendezvous with an era where charm, humor, and romance intertwined seamlessly. Moonlighting beckoned us into the lives of Maddie and David, two opposites who, against all odds, formed a dynamic duo of detectives. Their chemistry, both on and off the screen, made us laugh, swoon, and sometimes even hold our breath. It was a timeless exploration of love and partnership set against a backdrop of thrilling mysteries. Now, it's your turn to shine. What are your fondest memories of Moonlighting? Did you chuckle at David's witty one-liners, or did Matt's elegance leave you mesmerized? Maybe you found yourself caught up in the cases they solved or the romantic tension that always seemed to linger. Whatever it may be, I'd love to hear your thoughts and reflections on this iconic series. Feel free to share your favorite moments, characters, or even how Moonlighting may have influenced your own perception of relationships and detective work. Your personal connection to this show is a part of its enduring legacy, and your words can keep its spirit alive. Thank you for taking the time to embark on this nostalgic journey with me. Your interest in Moonlighting is a testament to the timelessness of this classic series. Keep those memories alive, and remember, the story of Maddie and David will forever remain etched in the annals of television history.